Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ponki Sharma, Chief Physiotherapist and Founder of Curis360 Physiotherapy Clinic. If you are suffering from knee pain, it's very important to know what need to be done and what need to be avoided. We all need our knees to be healthy so that we can do our activities and movement freely. Knee pain can restrict you from many functional activities. The most common is standing and walking. It can also affect your social life. And not only that, along with that, we can also face problem while climbing up steps or climbing down steps. Or sometimes even you feel this pain while sleeping in the midnight too. Irrespective of the symptoms or the reasons, we need to follow few do's and don'ts whenever you suffer from this knee pain. Knee pain can happen to you for multiple reasons. The reasons can be like arthritis. It can also be a simple strain on the knees. It can be inflammatory. It can be injuries. So whatever the reason is, the do's and don'ts are common for all. So let me tell you what are the do's and don'ts. The first thing which I'm going to start is with your do's. Whenever you feel that your knees are hurting you, then first and foremost thing what you need to do is take rest. Take rest for just two to three days. As you know, we have the capacity of self-healing. A small example here. If you fracture a bone, we just need to put a POP or doctors put a POP over there and give you rest. And your fracture gets healed by your own body capacity. Same way, if you have injured your knee joints or your muscles, the body has the capacity to recover, but it needs the support to recover. And that support we can give initially with the help of two to three days of rest. If you avoid this first initial two to three days of rest, this pain can become chronic and cause a long term issues. Now, let's speak about one of the things which we should not do if you are suffering from knee pain. That is, after two to three days of rest, the pain should not be an excuse. I mean to say, if the initial two to three days of rest is done and your pain has not subsided, you need to visit the doctor. And if your pain has subsided, you should not make the pain as an excuse and give continuous rest after this also. As soon as your pain subsides, you need to start with a very low impact exercises, which is going to improve the blood circulation to the muscles. And by improving the blood circulation, you will be able to use your knee joint once again. The most important thing is you should not go into a direct high impact exercises, but you can always start with a low impact exercises. Example, some of the yoga or some of the stretches or some of the floor exercises where we are not directly loading the knee joint, but still using our muscles. And if you need a help, you can take a guidance from a physio to know what need to be done in order to recover an injury. The third point is do not sit for long period of time. If you have a knee pain and you need recovery, you should not be sitting also for a long period of time. In fact, any certain position for a long period is bad for your knees. While sitting, few most important position which need to be avoided. First thing, one leg on the other. Many of us have the habit of sitting by putting one leg on the other and this can increase the knee pain. Second important thing, you should avoid low chair sitting. Do not go for a chair which is lower and it may put impact on your knees. Third thing is avoid cross leg sitting or sitting on the floor till your pain subsides. Now next point is if you are suffering from knee pain but you cannot avoid standing for a long period of time or you need to do that or walking a bit. Then in that case, very important, you take a kneecap from a pharmacy and start using it for both the knees. And if you use the kneecap, whatever weight, your body weights generally passes to your knee joint. This kneecap is going to bifurcate the pressure on the knees and it is going to take less load and it is still going to help you to reduce your inflammation. The last point is pampering the knee. What do you mean by pampering the knee? Giving all the support to the knee and taking care of the knee. The most important thing what we need to do is hot and cold fermentation. Now, if your pain is associated with only pain and there is no swelling and redness or inflammatory condition seen from outside, you can use a hot pack to improve the blood circulation. 
but if you have a swelling if you have a touching pain or if you have a redness on the knee joint it is always advised to use the ice pack you can choose according to your condition whether to use the hot pack or the cold packs for the initial 3 to 4 days of time so these are the important points which we all should know if you are suffering from knee pain if you are keen to know about the exercise which need to be done when you are suffering from knee pain then do comment below i'll definitely try to make a video on that too do not ignore this pain and inflammation chronic inflammation can cause some chronic problem to your system so do take care of the knee when you have the time chronic inflammation can cause cartilage damage too so be careful about it stay safe and stay healthy